the United States has seen one of the fastest recoveries in the Indian outbound market with traffic in 2022 crossing 80% of the 2019 levels. Shima Vora, Managing Director of Sartha Global that represents Brand USA in India, tells India Outbound that leisure and family travel have led the revival. She adds that the Indian travellers are now travelling for longer stays and seeking more outdoor and adventure activities. Yes, I did. It didn't surprise me. If you look at the market, even in the past when we've had crisis, the Indian market's recovery has been one of the fastest. So this V-shaped recovery didn't surprise me at all. What's also happened during this pandemic period is that people have realized how much uh, you know, travel adds to their life. And suddenly it was taken away and, so, and now it's come back. So they feel really uh, grateful that they're able to travel. So they're doing a lot of that. The other thing is for two years, people didn't spend very much. You know, you were at home, how much of uh, Zomato can you really order, you know? So there was, a, there was not too much entertainment that you were spending on or travel you were spending on. So an average household has a lot of money also now to spend on travel, which is exactly what they do. We had already started to see it a few years ago. This whole shift from seeing things to experiences had already started to happen. And so there's a lot more focus on that. People now are not uh, are wanting to get to their dream destination right now. They want to live their dreams today, not tomorrow, not day after. So I think that's a major shift there. The other thing that we've also seen with our travelers is that, you know, they're, they're now taking some responsible choices. Sustainability is a very big buzzword. And I've suddenly started to hear that people are when they, you know, they want to know about a destination or about a product, they're really thinking about sustainability. Um, outdoor, I mean, from India, for us, the outdoors is so important because I think we don't get too much of that within, especially our cities. Uh, one thing that I think has been a major shift is that whole uh, focus on sanity, hygiene and safety becomes important. See, the, uh, the Indian traveller, uh, you know, they have always been very conscious of the quality. And I think they understand the comparisons to Apple and Apple and the luxury market in India has always been booming. What has also happened post-pandemic is that every segment is wanting to upgrade themselves. So they're saying, I want to, I want to give the best to me. And they're keeping aside money and quite okay to give up some day-to-day -day expenses even to uh, spend more on travel. So, to answer your question, the luxury market's booming again. They have a lot of money they want to spend. Every segment is upgraded. For the US, our numbers have been phenomenal. Keep in mind that the commercial flights only started end of March, 27th March, if I'm not mistaken. So, we've got eight months, and from January through November, India is ranked number four in terms of international arrivals. Of course, this doesn't include Mexico and Canada, which actually we consider neighborhood uh, destinations to the United States. So we've done extremely well. Our arrival numbers from, uh, you know, as you compare them to 2019, they're almost 80% plus out there, which is phenomenal. So that's very exciting for us and as I talk to other colleagues, even the other destinations, be it Europe, Australia, Asia, Middle East, etc. I think everyone's seeing a massive uh, increase from the Indian market and uh, you know the market's recovery I think is putting a smile on everyone's face. I mean look around you, there's no destination that hasn't come into market and done some uh, on-ground activity and that's your answer right there. There's been such a humongous increase in people going for leisure. It's almost 50% plus, so which is a, you know which is a great endorsement of what Brand USA has been doing in market. Coming to your question of which are the destinations popular, I think like it's a hard one. People are going everywhere, and it surprises the hell out of me all the time. So obviously, all the major uh, gateways. That's how you get into the country. So all those major gateways are very very important and. Uh, you know, after those gateways, we begin to see that the Indians really want to go beyond. So they're looking for newer destinations beyond the gateways. 
they are happy to go into small destinations which they know very little of what's very important to them is can i really get a hyper local experience there can i uh, you know can i become part of the local community so i think um, by and large because of these uh, the way the indians are really traveling uh, a lot of our marketing focus is on on basically looking at some of the themes that would appeal to most of the indian travelers uh, well very positive I mean we are really really excited and I think our industry should is also very excited about what's going to happen in 2023. I think it's going to be the year of travel. Anybody that could not travel this year is definitely going to do it. Uh and uh, you know given the fact that the if you look at all research it's showing that the Indians are really uh, getting more and more adventurous. And because of that I think uh, they're also willing to um you know try out new stuff. they're also willing to spend a few extra days you know so that becomes part of sustainability if i'm going that far and if i need to spend a few extra days for another unique experience i might as well do it if i'm not mistaken anywhere from 28 to 30 days so they stay for that long uh, you know and uh, and that's why they they might they for example if if one of those travelers is going on a group to a or a package that they might have bought they after that they're staying on longer and doing their own thing because you're going so far so you might as well enjoy it a lot more what's interesting is to pick up what are the experiences that are working which maybe in the past were also there but people didn't we didn't see a lot of that i think we are going to see a lot of increase in people going to attend festivals music is going to be very important and that's going to go beyond the major festivals that we are already used to number 2 is what we are going to see i think is the this whole um, enthusiasm to do a lot of outdoor adventure and people kind of now experiencing that and wanting to really go and engage with those kind of activities uh, beach activities have come out very high for indians i would have actually never thought of that you know wanting to do water activities the other thing is the food one of the things that we get great comments on is the variety of food available in the united states even when we take media groups one of the things that gets most written about is the food wow christmas new year i mean there are so many parts of the country that get uh, that have so many fantastic christmas bazaars that happen right so a uh, great way to go and spend a uh, spend a half a day looking at that enjoying the local culture having mulled wine uh, etc or a mulled non alcoholic drink whatever your heart desires um new years is going to be um, is going to have you know so many aspects to it there's the whole uh, new year which is your party time music food dancing that's going to happen in most of our major cities but there's also going to be the side of the new year which is about nature which is about calmness which is going to be about you know really enjoying the scenery having um, you know time with your loved ones post pandemic uh, i think we are back to the normal i think one of the things that we are now uh, wanting to focus on is the same educational piece but really smaller groups so that each there can be a lot more interaction and a lot more engagement because i think uh, what our trade is also seeing is when the customers coming to them they want a lot more information well uh, Uh, thank you to you and for this opportunity of course and i really would like to wish everybody a wonderful and an amazing 2023 i hope uh, the holiday season's good for you for your families and we just have a great new year